As our AI offerings in NextCloud evolve, we're also aware of its challenges. From big tech, centralization, and privacy considerations to environmental challenges as well. At NextCloud, we want to offer AI to make your life easier, but we also want to be transparent about the downsides. Therefore, we created our ethical AI rating system to help you decide which AI features are right for you. We give each integration a score from red, orange, yellow, and green. This is based on three factors that address some key concerns with AI. First is the software open source that allows you to adapt the training, perhaps to eliminate bias or optimize some energy usage. Second is the training model freely available. This allows you to run it wherever you'd like, including your own data center so that your data doesn't leak. Third is the training data freely available. That way you can look for bias and other issues and retrain the model if that's important to you. We not only provide transparency with our AI implementations, but also choice. We've taken a different approach to others and want you to have some choice between various AI options. So we worked hard to ensure that for all features like translations, text processing, or dictation, we offer multiple options with on-premise and also remote choices. In this way, NextCloud already makes it possible to use remote AI services, such as ChatGPT, DeepL, or even Dolly. But our focus is to build and provide true open source and local AI, which is in sync with our values and our ethical AI rating system. Along with more commercial options, which are disabled by default on your NextCloud, many popular open source AI models are also available, with the ability to connect any model that you choose. These include, for example, Aeroboros, Whisper, GPT for all, and many more. Now, AI is becoming an integral part of NextCloud. Some of you may be hesitating when I say that. But the great thing is AI and machine learning have been a part of NextCloud Hub in many ways, both obvious in recent releases and working in the background for you already. For example, these AI and machine learning features in NextCloud already run 100% locally and are 100% open source. We've included face and object recognition that doesn't send your photos to third parties. Our smart inbox and mail, for example, is trained on your data and also on your server. And call transcripts are generated locally as well, just to name a few. We've also introduced AI features that are more prominent and interactive. A few months ago, we introduced you to the NextCloud Assistant, the industry's first AI assistant hosted completely on your own server. It is based on a large language model, is 100% open source, and can run fully on-premise with no data sent to third parties. Users like Christine can now find their NextCloud Assistant in many places. First, it's at the top right of the NextCloud Hub interface, always ready for your questions. Christine clicks and asks the assistant to do something for her. Here, she asks it for some tips to organize her event. The assistant will then get to work finding the answers for her. And when done, it provides the results to her request. In this case, some very useful tips for organizing that online event. Now, this works everywhere in NextCloud Hub, but there are a few places where we've integrated NextCloud Assistant in special ways. First, while working in documents. While selecting a piece of text, the special icon on the right will present you with the NextCloud Assistant. You can then ask the Assistant to summarize something for you, or reformulate your text, or present you with a headline. You could then insert the results if you're happy with them. We also integrated the Assistant in NextCloud Mail. It summarizes those long-winded email threads for Christine, saving her time when reading her email. And of course, the assistant can help Christine to write and answer email as well. She can open the smart picker by typing a slash, choosing text generation, and then enters her prompt. She then clicks the results, and if useful, can insert it into her email. Of course, she can also adjust the generated text before sending the results out to make sure they're just right. Now, we also want you to be able to use this feature in conversations. The assistant can already be used to translate chat messages. 
can also write text for you or generate images that you insert into your chats. We also have an assistant chatbot, which is available in our new app store. Christine can ask the assistant to help her plan her next trade show event, for instance, directly in her talk conversation. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. And to see our latest, click here or make sure to like and subscribe.